I wanted to go to Alaska to photograph bears, so I stopped in at Picture Line, where my friend Sarah lined me up with all the gear I would need. The people at Picture Line are always so helpful when I'm ready to take on a new project, and imaging bears in the wild would be a first for me. My plan was to spend a week hiking the Kasugi Ridge Trail in the Denali State Park. It would be a tough hike. Choosing the right gear was essential. I chose to shoot with the Canon R5. It's an amazing camera that I knew would do well in harsh weather conditions, and I paired it with Canon's 24-70mm f2.8 and Canon's astonishingly good 600mm f4 for when I find all the incredible wildlife Alaska is famous for. And having such a great camera system ready to go, I headed to the great state of Alaska. Alaska is big, and the Denali Wilderness Area encompasses the heart of the vast Alaska Range. The Kasugi Ridge Trail runs parallel to it. The elevation gain to get to it makes for some challenging hiking, but it's an incredible vantage point from which to photograph some of the most beautiful vistas in the world. Rising well above tree line, the trail takes you through a variety of landscapes where the scenery is ever-changing, from strange rocks and ancient volcanic formations to crystal-clear lakes and cool mountain streams. It's a well-marked trail that rewards you with epic sights around every corner. And of course, the views of Denali can simply take your breath away. The weather couldn't have been more perfect, and I cherished every moment of my journey taking in the fresh mountain air and photographing everything I saw. Everything that is, except a bear, as there didn't seem to be any around. Mornings were especially rewarding where Mount Denali, the highest peak in North America, revealed herself in all her majestic glory and the sun lit up the sky with vivid hues of purple, orange, pink, and blue. These expansive views required more than single exposures, so I took to creating panoramas, using the 24-70 to take three to four images that I would later stitch together in Photoshop. The Canon R5 has excellent image stabilization, and since I didn't bring a tripod, I shot almost everything handheld. Weight is an issue to consider for a trip like this, but even though I had a massive lens strapped to my pack, the Canon camera gear was not that heavy, so I was able to stop often to take pictures and still move quickly enough to get my miles in each day. I rarely shoot landscapes without a tripod, but the R5 worked so well, I was able to get sharp images every time. It was the perfect system for this trip, even if I was beginning to wonder why I had brought the 600mm in the first place. The 24-70 is fast, sharp, and the perfect go-to lens for nearly everything I wanted to shoot. Each day seemed like a new adventure as I discovered new scenery and unique photographic opportunities that I hadn't seen the day before. Even when the weather turned sour, I found beauty in the landscape wherever I turned. But I must admit that after a while I began to ask myself, where are all the bears? Aside from some epic landscape photography, I had photographed some mushrooms, a couple of moose, and a variety of ground-dwelling birds. But I had not seen one bear, and I was getting anxious to shoot something with that big, beautiful 600mm lens. Then one morning, as I was soaking in yet another incredible sunrise, I got an idea. As I was shooting a series of four images and realizing what an incredible view I had in front of me, I thought, what if I use the 600 millimeter to create a panorama like I've never created before? And with that thought, I went to work.
To create my hyper-detailed panorama, I began with Lightroom to make minor global adjustments to all the images of Denali I had taken. I had shot three rows of 15, totaling 45 images I would need to stitch together. Because I didn't shoot with a tripod, it took a little more finessing in Photoshop to get the images to line up properly. But for the most part, they stitched together well, and by the time I had the raw image built and cropped, it was nearly 48,000 pixels wide. The image file quickly grew to over 20 gigabytes. Working with adjustment layers for color, levels, and contrast, I worked for days to create the image I had seen in my mind. And even though I was shooting from nearly 50 miles away, I was astonished at how much detail I could now see in my panorama. The sharpness and clarity I got from the Canon's R5 and the 600mm f4 cannot be overstated. I would have never thought to use such a long lens for landscape photography, but once I had this image printed, the results simply took my breath away. Every rocky ledge and every ripple in the snow is visible to the eye, and every mile I walked on the Kasugi Ridge Trail has been worth the creation of this beautiful image. And now, I only look forward to the next project and to shooting it on a cannon. <laughs>